To the great mare Trillion, it was no wonder she cost $2 million, more than $2 million as a yearling. Pretty likely to get the trip, certain to appreciate the ground, but is she fresh enough? That's the question. Number 17, Triptyque. Behind her, the favourite. But uh, let's try and find Dubayan if we can. There is Dubayan on the right of your picture there. Well, Dubayan was extremely unlucky, got a terrible run in the Princess Elizabeth stakes here on this course at Epsom. Then she went up to York and ran in the Musidora stakes, and that time she ran a really fine race. In front, a stable companion of Oso oh Sharp, Fata Flair, but just look at the ground Dubayan makes. Uh, let's uh, let, her, let her move on now. Fatter Flair, who had made all the running that day, uh, stays on extremely well. But as you can see, over this mile and a quarter, Dubayan finishes in a style which strongly suggests that another two furlongs will be an advantage. She is, as I've told you, half-sister to the champion hurdle winner, see you then. So she ought to be right for stamina by high line out of a mare who's finished third in the Oaks. She can't quite get to Fatter Flair that day, but on the other hand, and at the start of this race, she'd hit her head on the stalls and lost a tooth, which uh, may well have put her off. I know that Alex Stewart is uh, full of hope about this filly, and although Henry Cecil may well be confident that uh, through Fata Flair that Oso Sharp can beat her, I'm much more confident about Dubayan's stamina than I am about Oso Sharp's. She looks really well. She's ridden by Pat Eddery, who's in great form. Number six, Dubayan. Uh, let's join John McCrick for a moment. Dubayan is now out to 11 to 2. From 7 to 2 out to 11 to 2, there is no money for her here. Now, one office firm alone has had £35,000 on oh so sharp, and that's brought her into 6 to 4. One office firm alone are holding up the price of oh so sharp. Very tight is Bella Calora. 12's one they've done, 11's going in, 10's probably the best price now, Bella Calora. Romantic feeling, as my wife the boobies each way tip. 66 to 1 romantic feeling, she fancies that, but this one off course firm is holding up oh so sharp. 6 to 4, 11 to 2 Juban, and 7 to 1 trip team. And Lester Piggott, uh, quite characteristically, has got off Dance Machine. I don't know whether there's something wrong with her tack. Actually, Lester very often gets off at the start. As you can see, this filly, an inexperienced filly, only having the third run of her life. Uh, she's sweating up quite a lot. She's had uh, only three runs, as I say. The first in a two-year-old was one of the most sensational things we showed on television all last season. Dance Machine was last with two fellows to go at Newmarket and then passed the whole of a huge field in about 100 yards and one going away in extraordinary fashion. Then Lester rode her at Newbury and uh, frankly didn't give her a tremendously great ride. She didn't see a lot of daylight, but uh, when she did see some, she finished really strongly. Third, only third to Merle and behind perfect match, but I think absolutely certain to reverse that form uh, if uh, she hasn't sweated away her chance but she certainly is getting into a rare old state. That's Leicester's last classic ride, we think at any rate, number four, Dance Machine. Last classic ride at Epsom, I should say. The second string uh, from, from John, Don, for John, Don, John Dunlop, I beg his pardon, and for Sheikh Mohammed. Kilinisky won the Linkfield trial over the full mile and a half distance really well. Slip Anchor did that in the Derby trial. It worked out for him, who knows, it might work out for her. But, it's a big but, John Dunlop is very, very worried because all the other horses in his 200 horse yard have got the virus. He hopes these two have escaped, but he can't be sure. Number nine, Brian Rice on Kilinisky. And there in the Sangster Colours is Morning Devotion. You heard Michael Stout telling you how she came back lame after that very disappointing race in the Princess Elizabeth Stakes on this course. She ran really well as a two-year-old, only three lengths behind uh, oh so sharp. But uh, if you back her, there's a lot of guesswork involved. There's number 10, Morning Devotion, written by Tony Ives, and here's a full show of the betting. Oh so sharp, the 6-4 favourite, Dubayan 5-1, Triptyque 13-2. Kalinsky a 10 to 1 chance with Dance Machine and Bella Calora also at 10s. Morning Devotion 25 to 1, a perfect match at 40s. 
Domino's Nurse and Collorge both 50 to 1 chances, Romantic Feeling 66 to 1, and Petradio has gone out to 100 to 1, the outside of the field, and all 12 share. Yes, I think you've got to make Petradia and indeed Romantic Feeling uh, outsiders. They both won their last races, but they weren't really Oaks trials. Petradia won a little race at uh, Chepstow, and Romantic Feeling was, was at Salisbury. Uh, it'll be quite a considerable surprise if they get into the shake-up. There is Romantic Feeling in the Diamonds and the big white breast girth uh, going into the stalls. I don't think there are... I don't think there are kicking out horribly romantic feeling there. I hope she hasn't hurt herself. And Dance Machine uh, is also giving problems. There's Dubayan and Bella Colora. Uh, very quick words from John McCrig. Eero, 64 oh so sharp. Dubayan's back to 5 to 1, 8 to 1 trip tee, 10 to 1 bar. Bit of money for the rag. Domino's Nurse at 50 to 1 and 66. Double carpet, 33. They're calling in places Domino's Nurse. Well, let's hope there's not a double carpet result. Good luck to Steve Cawson and all the rest. Over to you, Graham Good. For this gold seal oaks, mile and a half, of course, and just an anxious moment down at the start with Lester and Dance Machine, but he's now safely in the plate and goes quite sweetly in to the stalls, in fact, in Dubai, and the last to go in up on the very wide outside, although from this camera angle, it's nearest to us. Just... A small but select field for this gold seal oaks. But you can see there the legs anxious to get into action. And they're under orders and they're away. And a pretty level break too. And up on the inside, Domino's Nurse goes quite uh, quickly away. And also Romantic Feeling. And behind these comes Triptyque. And through the first furlong, it's now Romantic Feeling who goes on from Domino's Nurse in second place. Petradia on the left of the picture. Then just in behind these comes Perfect Match. Oh, so sharp to play in good position. So too, Lester Pickett on Dance Machine. The back marker at this stage is Kalorge and Willie Carson. And also towards the rear is the Mohammed second string, Kiliniski. So, at the end of the first two furlongs, and it's Romantic Feeling from Petradia. Then Perfect Match and Dance Machine and Oso. Oh, Sharp and Bella Calora, and then comes Domino's Nurse, and behind these Trip Teak and Morning Devotion. Then Dubai, and the second favourite, makes up a bit of ground on the outside of Kiliniski. But the favourite, uh, Uso Sharp, in a good position with Steve Cawthon, who's on the outside of Lester Bigot and Dance Machine. But it's romantic feeling in the lead with Petralia up on the outside of her. Then just on the outside of her comes Trip Teak, who's going well. On the extreme left of the picture is Kiliniski, but some way off the pace. They're at the top of the hill, they've got just over seven to race, and it's romantic feeling from Petralia, then Perfect Match and Triptyque, and followed by Dance Machine and Oh So Sharp, the favourite going well, Bella Calora going well, but the jockeys are taking things very steady as they begin the descent, they're at the halfway stage in the Gold Seal Oaks, next to the rails, Romantic Feeling, Petralia, Triptyque going as well as any in third place, but Oh So Sharp, Steve Cawthon just uh, nibbling along back and forth, and behind these Dubai, who's made good ground up on the outside, and then comes next to the rails, Dance Machine, and they've got uh, just over four and a half to race. They begin the descent to Tatton Corner. Romantic feeling in the lead of Petradia now going on from Triptyque in second place. So it's Petradia from in second place Triptyque. Romantic feeling in third. Oh so sharp is four. Dubai is five. And then comes a perfect match. And behind these, morning devotion. Kiliniski running wide. They've round Tatton Corner. And this time they're spreading right across the centre of the track. And with three to race, it's Triptyque who goes on from oh so sharp the favourite. Dubai, Bella Calora coming fast two and behind these uh, Petradia who's losing a pitch just over two to race and the favourite Osho Sharp throws down the challenge for Triptyque but coming fast on the stands rails is Dubai and they've got a furlong and a half to go and Steve Cawthon strikes the front and goes for home and the race looks all over in a matter of strides this is an impressive turn of foot saved by Osho Sharp she's drawn away from Triptyque Dubai back in third place inside the final furlong and it's Osho Sharp for six to four favourite Steve Cawthon and Henry Cecil on a real eye this week it's Osho Sharp who wins the gold seal oaks. Oh so sharp the winner trip teak second Dubai and third, then Kaliniski four, Bella Calora five, Domino's Nurse came six and behind these came perfect match morning devotion, Petradia, and then came romantic feeling, Kalorge, and last of all, oh what a disappointing run by Lester on dance.